Hey everybody, it's Mike the Reptile Guy here, and we've got a really cool thing to show you today. Um, a couple months ago, there was a scorpion that was actually turned over to Manita, and it was actually found in the produce section of a grocery store. So she got the scorpion in, brought it home, and uh, about well, it was a couple months after having it here, I think it was December 22nd, she decided to have a bunch of babies for us, alright? Now, the cool thing about scorpions is when they have babies, they carry the babies on their back. So they carry the babies on the back for about, uh, I think it was about a week and a half she had them on her back and they started molting and now they're starting to take off, the, you know, get off the mom's back. So it's really cool to see, it's been a really cool process and um, I'll have some pictures on this video for you to see. And uh, this is going to be an interesting video of me trying to get the little baby scorpions that are super fast. Um, into their little containers that I made up for them here. Now, we're only going to take the ones that are off the mom's back, because once they're, they're off the mom's back, um, they're ready to go. So we'll only take those ones. I think there's still a few left on the mom's back, um, and they'll probably be ready to go in a couple weeks or so, or in about a couple of days, actually. Um, so I'll get a close-up here. We'll show you. Now, I gotta be careful. These things are crazy fast. Oh, look at all the ones on the back there. I don't know if you can see. You can turn the flash on there. There, do you see them there? Touch it to zoom in. Or to focus. There, see all those little guys? And then you can see mom down on the bottom there. You see there's still a few babies on the back. Now, again, it's really cool because the the mom carries the babies around and she actually feeds the babies. So she will catch crickets and hand food up to them to eat. So now like I said, the interesting part is going to be getting each one of these little babies here into those containers down there. One per container. They need to be separated for now so we can make sure they're all eating in that. Um, but again, like I said, they are just insanely fast. So it's going to be really interesting trying to, to do this and get them in there. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. So we'll start out, alright, let's start, and I got, and the thing is too, we got to be careful with mom because mom is a, a very angry scorpion, um, the Florida bark scorpions are, they're a more aggressive scorpion, so not one you'd really want to have for, for your kids to play with, um, like the emperor scorpions, um, and their sting is a little bit more potent than the emperor scorpions too, it, it does have a little bit of a punch to it, and it would swell up and hurt a little bit, but it, it's not going to kill you or anything. Oh, look at that little baby. So what, actually, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to get the little baby to walk. <laughs> no, you see how fast he is running around? And they were running so fast yesterday. You can see why they're called bark scorpions, too. Come on, little guy. Come on. It's just a matter of coaxing one. You know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to put a container here. And I'm just going to try to gently coax little baby. It's probably going to fall. No, it didn't go. Come on. Come on. Oh, did it go in? <laughs> no, I think it went to the other side of the bark. <laughs> See, they're really fast. You can't even tell. No, it didn't go in there. All right, we'll try another one. We'll try another one here. See, and then... Yeah, see, now they're all on the back of the bark. <laughs> and I've got... Uh, I've got 30 containers here. We're not sure how many there were. You, you've seen the pictures. I've already had the pictures up now. Um, and uh, in the picture, I think I counted about 27, but that's just what we could see. There was more underneath. Go. Nope. See, it's, and it's on the back. I can see it on the back. Like, they're, they just cling on. They don't come off. Come on. We got one. One's in. I'll show you. There it is. So this is the first scorpion that we have successfully... Well, I wouldn't say hatched, but it's successfully been born and uh, raised up and removed from the mother. We've, we've had emperor scorpions have babies before, um, but the mother usually ends up eating them. Because if you, if you make the moms really mad um, or just, you know, torment them or bug them too much, they will eat their babies. So we're really happy with these ones that these actually survived. Now, I've got to remember, you know, put this down here. I probably just squished a bunch in from there. Um, and you'll see in the container here, I've got... Uh, it's a, it's a pretty simple setup. It's just a little bit of dirt, a little pot bottle lid with water in there, and then a little piece of bark, because they are bark scorpions. They like to stay on the bark. And then we have a lid. We'll put the lid on it. Maybe. 
their dollar store containers, not the greatest. And then there's holes in the lid, of course, they need the ventilation, they still need to breathe. Um, yeah, so that one's done. Now we'll, we'll do a couple more here for you before we start recording, because I might need a hand getting some of these off. Okay, let's try it. Let's got a big hair in there. All right, let's try to get the second one here. My friend suggested I use uh, either a chopstick or a little paintbrush. I think the paintbrush would have been easier because it wouldn't, it's a little more gentle on the, the scorpions, but I don't have a paintbrush here. I'm just trying to flick. Nope. I got makeup brushes. Oh, we'll do this for and then we'll try to make a brush after. It might work. There, another one in. You see him running around down there? Mm -hmm. Don't know if you can focus on him or not, but I'll try to, let me know when you're focused and I'll try to get him to run. We can see him. Okay. Go. Cool. You see how fast they are? Little guys, there we go. So we get one more, one more close up of mom. There, we'll make mom move so you can actually see that she is alive. I had a bunch of people when I first posted these pictures on Facebook. Um, they thought that the scorpions were on the back feeding off of the mother, that they were actually eating the mother. Um, but they are in fact just kind of on there for protection. Oh, there's a bunch around. See all the little babies around there. There we go. Yeah, kind of. A, she's actually not being too too aggressive right now. Usually she's a lot more jumpy and angry, but maybe she's just tired from having a bunch of babies on her back. They can see all the babies. There's a bunch of babies under the dirt here. If you look under here, see they're crawling out of the dirt. So yeah, there's probably... Oh, there's another one hiding there. Yeah, I'd say there's going to be around uh, 30 to 40 scorpions here. So I've got 30 containers. Hopefully that'll be enough, but again, if not, there's still a bunch of babies on the back, so we can deal with them tomorrow. So uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing our little... Um, scorpion factory and again we weren't trying to breed the scorpions they just you know the female came in pregnant and uh had her babies so yeah thanks for watching everybody